Hello everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj. I'm coming in front of you after a very long period of time because I feel there is nothing new to say whatever is happening in India is not good, especially in the Indian economy. Anyway, today I came in front of you, I'm coming in front of you to discuss uh, demonetization tool that the this time the Reserve Bank of India's governor has announced yesterday night. So you remember in 2016 or 18, uh, November 2018, I guess, uh, Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, came on national television at 8 p.m. in night and he announced uh, withdrawing of uh, 501,000 rupees note uh, immediately from the circulation which was like 86 percent of the total notes back then and we all know in last six seven eight years you know six years i guess uh, what has happened to the economy you know the growth rate tanked unemployment is skyrocket high it is already very high according to you know private estimates Total population of America and Russia is unemployed in India right now. Nobody knows what the real numbers are because the government is not interested in releasing any data. So we have to rely on uh, private organizations like the CMIE, for example. And overall, poverty and hunger are rising, inequality is rising, and after that, we are seeing one policy blunder after another. But anyway, so yesterday the Modi government did it again. This time, they announced, the RBI announced uh, that they are going to withdraw the 2,000 rupees note from the circulation. Uh, now the RBI's order is very ambiguous. So I'm just going to analyze that particular uh, directive. And I have some of the questions for the RBI and for the government which I'm sure many people are also asking. So the RBI communic says that they're going to withdraw the 2000 rupees note from the circulation under their policy of uh, clean note policy. Uh, clean note poli policy is about making sure that the public has uh, a good condition note available for the use. So every four or five years, which they say is the life cycle of uh, the notes that the RBI is printing. Uh, it, uh, they, they withdraw that currency notes from the circulation and replace those notes with newly freshly printing notes so the public can, uh, public is not forced to use, you know, kind of torn notes and, you know, we remember what used to happen, notes in the plastic cover or notes with the tape. Uh, so under that policy, they are saying that they are withdrawing this 2000 rupees note. Uh, they are saying that they have stopped issuing the 2000 rupee note since 2018-19 already. So they are not printing any new 2000 rupee notes from 2018-19 uh, onwards. And at that time, the total, you know, amount of uh, 2000 rupee note percentage amount of 2000 rupee note in the circulation was uh, something like 37 percent of the total money supply which has gone down to 10 percent close to 10 percent by march 31 2023 because of this ongoing policy of not printing any new 2000 rupee note and not issuing it and whatever 2000 rupee note is coming into the banks during the normal you know procedure day to day you know working of the economy they are replacing the 2000 rupee note with 500 rupee note and 100 rupee notes so i don't understand if that is what is the case and i don't understand what is the need of abruptly announcing that by 30th september 2023 all the public will have to exchange their 2000 rupee note if they want to exchange it from the banks because already the replacement is going on right they're slowly that is what i remember manmohan singh government used to do they will slowly you know they will stop printing the let's say 500 rupee note if they want to replace it with 
and they will continue to replace the notes when it comes in the bank instead of 500 then they will give 100 rupees more in a day to day you know normal banking activity instead of coming out one day and you know, on a weekend and saying that from you know now we are going to withdraw withdraw the 2000 rupee note and the public has time until 30th september to exchange their 2000 rupees note into other notes if they want to because i believe the policy that they were you know practicing so far from 2018 19 was fine there is no need to put the public in the panic mode because you have to understand that such announcement after what happened in 2018 during demonetization one the public is already alarmed and public is already alarmed by this policy you know gaps of modi government because this government is known for giving all kind of shocks to people so people are always alarmed you know and and we, and we say in gujarati you know dud no dajelo chhas pan fuki fuki ne pi it means when you are born by milk you are also going to you know blow air to cool the buttermilk buttermilk is already cool do no need to do that so people are already you know the panic is already heightened and again they are announcing like this on a weekend uh yesterday was saturday banks were closed i guess today sunday banks are definitely closed so we have to see what is going to happen on monday because nobody is going to believe anything first of all the community is very confusing so on one side they are saying that they are withdrawing the 2000 rupee note and public has time until 20 uh, 30th september 2023 to exchange their notes for 2000 rupee notes that also in a limit one time limit of 20000 rupees only so only 10 2000 rupees note you can exchange from the bank uh until 30th september 2023 but and again when you go to exchange your notes you have to fill different kind of forms and give different kind of information i don't know what kind of forms we will have to fill and all the other kyc and other norms are going to be applicable and after that only they will give you you know a 2000 rupee note exchange of only worth 20000 rupees so suppose you have 1 lakh rupee you do you have to go i mean you have to go to bank for 10 times that's going to waste so much of people's time that's going to you know create a lot of problem and chaos but again as i'm saying then what is the need and then they are saying that uh, even after that the 2000 rupee note will continue to be a legal tender now if it is going to be a legal tender then what is the no, you know, need of exchanging it and what is the meaning of withdrawing the note withdrawing uh, you already withdrew the note uh, withdrew the note in 2018 19 because they have stopped printing money from 2018 19 2000 rupee note that means they are withdrawing the currency slowly the notes so then they, there was no need to announce this policy just continue to do that until all the 2000 rupee notes is withdrawn from the circulation and you don't even have to tell anybody that we are withdrawing the note people will understand on their own that banks are not giving 2000 rupee notes anymore right when i go to bank for example and if i say i want 2000 rupee note the bank the teller can simply tell me that the government has stopped issuing 2000 rupee note and there that is the reason why we don't have any we don't have any problem i don't need whether i'm going to get 2000 or 500 as long as i get my money back okay so there was no need for this again if it is legal tender why should public go and exchange their note because if it is going to now my question is is it going to be legal tender even after 30th september or the government is going to one day come let's say after the 30 now because suppose if i have you know 2000 rupee note i don't want to exchange it right now because if it is going to be legal tender even after uh, 30th september 2023 why should i go and exchange my notes i will continue to use them in circulation because everybody is going to accept them because it continues to it remains a legal tender right as the rbi is clearly saying in their communique and in the frequently asked question segment also i will advise uh, the public to go and read this communique on rbi's website as well as the linked faq because once you read that you will understand that it doesn't make any sense why they are announcing this policy right now so why should i exchange the notes right now when it is going to be legal tender now the now the question that comes in my mind is that because this government is known for announcing surprising policy you know moves in a very shocking way are they going look, suppose i don't exchange my notes before september are they going to announce 
let's say in november that now 2000 rupees no longer legal tender are they going to shock the people and that is how they are going to cancel let's say 10% of the money supply in november so that maybe they can uh like last time this can be used for money laundering but i don't know how it is going to be used for money laundering if 2000 rupees note is no longer a legal tender then nobody will want it and the bank will not take it back you cannot use it in you know your day to day uh exchanges because it is, it is no longer a legal tender and and i don't know whether the government is thinking about the effect of these kind of policies in future suppose if they announce that it's no longer legal tender because we cannot trust them you know they broke our trust in 2018 when they promised you know even after the promise that the rbi governor gives that 500 rupees the legal tender they one day they came and they say it's no longer legal tender and in, even after that they issued another 5 rupee note but anyway we are not discussing those things suppose if they announce in november that 2000 rupees note will no longer be a legal tender then what will happen do they really think that if they you know cancel 20% of the money supply nothing will happen to the economy it will create a huge deflationary you know situation in the economy if you cancel 10% of the money supply right the ensuing recession will be crazy right now prices will fall and there will be so much of chaos and i know the government will panic and they will start pumping again maybe they will again say that oh we are not going to cancel it instead of 2000 we are going to issue 5000 rupee note so it just doesn't really make any sense why do you want to cancel these things and i don't know what uh, you know objectives they want to achieve if their policy is the clear note policy then there was no need to announce this thing just continue to replace the notes and within 5 years you know 6 years time over a period of time like what manmohan singh government used to do they they never used to announce all these things but they will continue to replace suppose if there is old note and that is what rbi is also saying that this policy is nothing new in 2013 14 also that you know manmohan singh government did this and i remember that you know instead of the old 500 rupees note they will issue a new 500 rupee note and we can see that but without any kind of creating any kind of panic and chaos so these are all the questions in my mind if is it going to be a legal is you know 2000 rupee not going to be a legal tender even after september 30 and what is the guarantee that they will not one day come and announce that 2000 rupee note is cancelled now you cannot even use it it is no longer a legal tender and and that is how they are going to you know withdraw 10% of the money supply and do they really and have they really done their homework that what will happen to the economy when they withdraw 10% of the money supply abruptly like that the ensuing recession deflationary pressure will be horrible that will you know completely devastate the economy which is already devastated so i don't understand the whole policy of withdrawing the note and on on the other side also announcing that it will continue to remain a legal tender and also another thing they are saying that if you want to exchange your 2000 rupee note then the limit is 20000 rupee at a time and you fill the form and everything all those formalities and uh, bureaucracy but if you want to deposit 2000 rupee note in your account then there is no limit so then again why should i go and exchange my notes when i can simply deposit all the 2000 rupees into my account and later on withdraw 500 rupee note or 100 rupee note at my own convenience at my own set time let's suppose i have 1 lakh rupee why should i go 10 times right or 5 times and exchange 2000 rupee note with 500 rupee note instead of going one time and depositing 1 lakh rupees uh denominated in 2000 note just i deposit in my account and i use it using let's say my debit card or upi or whatever or i withdraw from the atm in 5 you know 500 rupees note so again that it doesn't make any sense why they are asking the public to exchange the notes in september before september if you if there is no restriction on depositing your note in your account right then why should i exchange it and in that case the whole purpose of i don't know withdrawing the note is defeated 
I don't know if these people are thinking properly about all these issues or not, or just announcing it. If they are not thinking, if they are announcing it like this, then I believe they will do something crazy in future. Right now, they will say it's legal tender, and maybe in November or October they will come and say it is no longer legal tender. Okay. And then they will say, well, we gave you time, four months time to exchange your notes. You did not exchange your notes. So now it's up to you. And this government is not accountable. Nobody is suing them. They are not answerable to anyone. And even after doing all these things, people continue to vote for them. So they have nothing to lose. And just like last time, Prime Minister Modi is in Japan again. Last time also he did the same thing. When he announced the policy, he immediately went to Japan and delivered a very cringeworthy you know, speech there, that how everybody is, you know, struggling and troubling and I, I cancel everything, it's a piece of paper. Similarly, right now also he is in Japan to attend the G7 meeting. I mean, so that he is away from the chaos that, that will ensue on Monday. He is in Japan till Monday. I don't know when he's going to come back. Maybe he'll come back on 22. And by that time, the chaos must have started over here. So these are all the questions that are popping up immediately in my mind and and uh, I don't see any need of announcing this thing. I'm sure, but this is only going to create a lot of chaos among people. Remember, Indians are illogical and most of them are illiterate financially in any case. So people don't understand the consequences and in India, whatever is said is never going to be the ground reality. So they are saying that the banks are obligated to exchange the notes. Or it's a legal tender. I'm sure people will stop accept, accepting 2,000 rupees note immediately as a legal tender. Because what is it, uh, coming into their mind is that the government, they, are not, they don't trust government. So they are going to say that what if they cancel the note in future. So we don't want to touch the 2,000 rupee note. So again, this is going to create problem in market exchanges. And when exchanges are hindered, remember, the economy will come crashing down. Because exchange is everything. That's what the economy is all about. So they are again disrupting the day-to-day -day functioning of the economy, the market economy. Okay, And again, as I said, the policy announcement is one thing. People are not going to trust anything. So they will straight away say that, okay, government says it's legal tender, but we will not accept it. And again, bank officers, you know, over here, people make their own laws and they interpret, they interpret the laws on their own. So when you will go to bank, they will say something, they will make some excuse. And uh, the RBI is saying that if the banks are not accepting your notes, then you can write to us 30 days and these are, who's going to do all these things, right? So suppose if people have 2000 rupee note and nobody accepting them, then where are they going to go? All the rich people and all the corrupt people, they will find a way out because the government officers and politicians will be working in cahoot with them too make the money for themselves the middle class the ordinary people are going to be in trouble the middle class who keeps on voting for this government but anyway so i think from monday i expect the chaos to start the banks are again going to be in trouble i'm sure the uh, everybody who's working in the bank are again thinking that what's going to happen from monday because people will start to line up the opportunity cost is going to be huge because people are going to waste their time now exchanging these notes because they will not understand all this complicated message that RBI is sending. It is legal tender, but you have to exchange it. We are withdrawing it. There was no need to do all these things. They were already withdrawing the notes slowly since 2018-19. They should have continued this policy. No need to tell people that you are withdrawing the note. People will know when the notes are withdrawn. But when you announce, the panic will start. So anyway, let's see what happens on Monday. And I'm saying this is not going to be helpful for the economy. And because uh, I don't trust the government and I'm sure people don't trust the government, we don't know what they're going to do in future once 30th September is gone. So I will come back again and uh, discuss this demonetization too after a few months time. I want to wait until 30th September and see what happens after that. Are they going to cancel the 2000 rupee note? And if they don't, then the whole policy just doesn't really make any sense. But then anyway, whatever this government is or any government is doing doesn't make any sense in any case. Okay, so thank you for watching me. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.